Well, we're here uh, up in Alavar today and uh, doing a bit of ski touring. But uh, if you look behind, you can see down towards Grenoble and in the valley, it's horribly polluted. It's really bad. They've got speed restrictions on the motorway, 70 kilometers an hour. And uh, given that there's no holiday traffic or very little holiday traffic, you wonder what this pollution's caused by. Well, there's the usual wood burning and the factories in Grenoble, some commuter traffic, but a lot of it is fine particles of Saharan dust that are in suspension in, in the atmosphere. And uh, we had two episodes about two weeks ago, about the 15th of February, we had the first episode, which was a very thick layer of sand landed. And we'll have a look at that in a second. And a few days ago, we had another layer of fine particles blowing and uh, some nuclear scientists up in up near Geneva decided to take some samples of this sand and uh, they discovered that it's uh, full of cesium-137 not great not terrible okay you say that's interesting why is it full of one three cesium-137 well it's a bit of a return of the boomerang uh, the French government did nuclear tests in Algeria, in the deserts of Algeria, in the 1960s and uh, it's sand that's uh, radioactive that's come from those tests. Uh, they say it's not harmful, but uh, who knows, <laughs> they would say that, wouldn't they? We'll see. Um, and if you think it's bad here, think about the poor people over in the deserts of Algeria who've been breathing this stuff in for 50 years. Well, not much we can do about that, but it uh, just shows what a crazy world it was uh, during the Cold War. So if we turn around and have a look over here, you can actually see how yellow it is, and that's the sand that blew in about two, two and a half weeks ago. And uh, that's had the effect, uh, we had some fresh snow, about 30 centimetres of fresh, but um, we had, the second it got hot, the uh, fresh snow, you can see avalanches down at the bottom of the slopes there, the fresh snow purged off those, uh, off that sand and uh, it's now sucking the heat in and melting everything so at the moment I mean it's yellow everywhere it's uh, it's probably going to uh, unless there's some new snow not going to be a great end of the season and if there is new snow anything that disturbs the snowpack that makes the snowpack uh, uh, less homogeneous uh, is a bad thing because uh, it can uh, you can get a temperature gradient across these uh, sand layers and on that temperature gradient you get weak layers forming of uh, hole crystals. So, well, we'll see. It's uh, still February, but it feels like summer anyway.